Welcome to something to wrestle with. Something to wrestle with. Bruce Pritchard. Bruce Pritchard. Well, you know. That's not a rib. Let's talk you about um, the NAPTI convention. Sid says that he's here at this television convention with Vince, and he's supposed to be there as one of their stars representing the WWF. And he says while he's in the room with Vince alone, Vince tells him that he wants to drop the title back to Sean at the rumble. And Sid reminds Vince of, Hey, you told me that you'd keep it on me as long as I was drawing well. And Vince said something like, we're going to put it back on him in his hometown, but we'll get it back to you on raw. Well, that comes sooner than we maybe imagined. On okay. The- well, let me, okay. Hang on. I got to say this about that. First of all, I wasn't there in any meeting that Sid and Vince may have had at Nappy from day one. As I said before, Sid knew, Sean knew, everybody knew, and it was always the plan for Sid to drop the title to Sean in San Antonio. It was never, there there never was, if you're drawing, we're going to leave it on you. That was never, ever the case from our point of view. And talent was aware of that. Talent was aware of what we were going to do between survivor and the Royal rumble and what we were going to do at the Royal rumble. So that it it just doesn't hold any water. In addition to that, the reason that we had to switch the title was because Sean lost his smile. So it it makes, it just, it doesn't hold water. Right. Well, I'm not saying that, you know, the timing, like the circumstances, but perhaps he mentioned I uh, will get it back to you down the line, but maybe not the way they did uh, because, well, I guess I should say on the way there, uh, February 7th, 8th, and 9th, Sid and Brett are beating Steve Austin and Shawn Michaels. But when it comes to the February 13th raw, Sid was supposed to wrestle Sean for the title, but Sean came out and did the whole lost my smile promo. So he forfeited the title had Sean not lost his smile on this Thursday, raw Thursday, a special event. Would there have been a title switch? No. Okay. Would have gone Sean and Brett later that night. Austin would beat Sid by DQ when Brett would interfere. And I think this is one of the only times you see a Steve Austin, Sid match on TV. Uh, we covered the final four for Patreon. If you'd like to, uh, watch that match with us, by all means, check it out. Patreon.com forward slash something to wrestle, uh, the in your house final four pay-per-view is February 16th. Brett wins the final four battle Royal here. Uh, those last four guys in the original rumble are put back into the match here. Brett Austin Vader undertaker. So Brett wins the vacant world title, but interestingly enough, the next night on raw Sid beats Brett to win the title after Austin hit Brett with a chair. Here comes the power bomb and we're done. So this is Sid's reign as the champion here, a second reign. Um, at this point, you know, when you talk about the night after final four, did you already know, okay, here's what we're going to do. We're putting him with taker Taker's going to go over at mania. Yes. And here was the reasoning behind it. We would just been through this with Sean and losing a smile. Sid no shows, a major press conference as the champion. So there's not a lot of, obviously Sean's out, but Sid's not the most reliable guy. If we could just get him to WrestleMania, who's somebody that we have confidence in that we know is not going to hold us up for money. That is not going to be a pain in the ass about putting somebody over or going or coming to work. Okay. And that guy, everybody came back to that one guy, the undertaker. He had had the championship once before, but he never had a run with the championship. And Mark had come to us and said, you know what? Um, I'll be that guy. I'll, you know, I'll, I'll do it, but I, I'd like to have a run with it. And we're like, okay, let's see how it goes. But, uh, yes, we felt that he was the best man for the job at that time. That's why, you know, we, we got to that title match and felt Sid with the championship, the heel with the champion and, and undertaker defeating a true heel versus defeating Brett or something like that. Um, we just felt that was the best thing at the time. 
So it was, it was, Sid was just that transitional champion again. Let me ask here. Um, it's interesting to me that Sid winds up main eventing, not one, but two WrestleManias. And I know you weren't there for the first one, but it does feel like he was sort of the backup plan. And then I think a lot of us fans assumed, and even industry insiders, most people assumed Hulk Hogan, Ric Flair, WrestleMania eight, that's the main event. And instead they don't go with flair. They go with Sid, the younger, taller, more muscular, more of a Vince guy, so to speak. Fast forward here five years and Sid's in another main event. And it's not technically the original plan. The original plan is supposed to be Brett and Sean. Sean pulls up lame. And again, Vince looks to see who do I have? And he goes to Sid again. Is there a story to be told there? No, because it was again, looking at your heels and trying to get the championship on a baby face. And, and specifically Taker, who's the biggest heel that he can slay that he hasn't already slayed. And when you look at that and you look at it that way, Sid's really your only option. He had Taker done the matches with Vader. Vader had already been beaten. Sid was the next logical guy. Sid had just had the, uh, held the championship beating Sean so that, that's why he got that slot. And I don't know that it was one of, oh, he's my guy. I'm going to put him in the main event. You know, it's almost, as you said, it was almost an accident. Right place, right time, right position. 